Hey guys, welcome to a new video. If you're new here, I'm April. I'm a skincare and cosmetic chemist and talk about all things skincare, back end, front end of all things skincare. So if you're interested in that, make sure to hit the like button for me down below. Subscribe to the channel because we're here every week, every single week talking about skincare. All right, y'all, as you guys can tell from the title, we'll be talking about my favorite chemical sunscreens. I already made a prequel, which was a video on my favorite physical sunscreens currently in the market. If you haven't checked that video out, definitely check it out of here. And yeah, let's get into today's video. So quick brief on chemical sunscreens. Chemical sunscreens are made chemically in the lab. They are not made from natural ingredients. The active ingredients are typically homosalates, avobenzone, octocrylene. Oxybenzone has been a bit of an issue lately because it's been found to contribute to the bleaching of coral reefs. There are inconclusive studies in my opinion, but there has just been a lot of studies. Yes, it does contribute to that, but there's other factors like environmental pollution and other things that contribute to that as well. Anyway, all of the sunscreens I'm going to talk about today basically deflect UV rays from the sun and the difference between chemical and physical is that chemical actually goes into your skin, absorbs into your skin, which is why you typically wouldn't see a white cast with chemical sunscreens because they go into the skin and they deflect UV rays that way. Physical does it by staying on top of your skin, which is typically why you would see a white cast. Plus zinc and titanium, which is the acids in physical, typically are uh, white powders. So that's also a contributing factor. Anyway, so today's sunscreens I'm going to talk about are all oxybenzone free. So the environment is happy. Nature is happy. We're all happy. <laughs> With that being said, let's go ahead and jump into this video. This portion of the video is kindly sponsored by Everyday Humans. Their Resting Beach Face Sunscreen has been my go-to sunscreen. I have been just loving using this product. SPF 30 Sunscreen Serum. It has actives such as spinach, green tea, hyaluronic acid. You guys already know hyaluronic acid is great for plumping the skin and giving your skin that glow. Green tea is a great antioxidant. Spinach is great for strengthening the skin's natural defense. Spinach also contains vitamin A, C, and E. All right, let's get to demoing this product. How beautiful is this too? so pretty. I also really love that color. Isn't it so gorgeous? So we're going to use three to four pumps. We're going to pump it. I'm actually going to use the finger rule. Hope you guys can see that. I'll show you guys when I'm done adding that. All right, I have it all on three of my fingers. And I'm just going to go on my face like so, on the sides of my face and also my forehead. And I'm just going to rub my hands together. I'm just going to start applying that product. You guys can see that white cast starting to disappear, which is very normal for a chemical sunscreen. So gorgeous, smells so good, so moisturizing. It just feels so amazing on the skin. I, I love it. It's definitely been one that I've been reaching for every day for work because it's easy and the tube is so just easy to pump the product out. I definitely highly recommend this one. Number two sunscreen I'll be talking about today is this one from Neutrogena. It's an SPF 50 broad spectrum sunscreen. It has an invisible finish as expected for chemical. What I love about this one, it has this really pretty blue color which matches the component. Very, very simple, but this is something I really noticed that I like. It feels so good. So I'm just applying that all over my skin here and it just is blending really well. It feels very, very moisturizing. Highly recommend this one. Broad spectrum. All of these sunscreens are broad spectrum. If you're lighter skinned, you definitely want to start with the SPF 50 because your skin doesn't have melanin as like a darker skin person. So SPF 50, I always advise for people that are lighter skinned. Third product here is also another one from Trigina. Trigina makes really, really good sunscreens, I can't lie. This one is actually a body mist. I love that this one is for the body. I actually have another body one I'm gonna recommend in a second. Honestly, I feel like you can use any sunscreen on the body as well, but I love that this one, you just get to spray it all over your body like so. On the beach, you know, just sort of apply that all over your body like that and just, you know, go all over your body. It's so convenient. Yeah, I love love convenient. I'm sure you guys can all relate to convenient products. It's an SPF 45, broad spectrum as always. Feels very weightless, very clean. Love, love this one. I actually just got this one from Walgreens the other day and I am obsessed. Definitely be adding this to my everyday, especially at work, you know? Sometimes I just wanna reapply and I don't wanna have to deal with the cream sunscreen, so this is definitely great. Another body one really quick, I wanna recommend this by Everyday Humans. They have this SPF 50 body sunscreen. Has cucumber, green tea, hyaluronic acid. We already talked about the benefits of those. I've been really liking this one as well. I combined this actually with my moisturizer and it's just, you know, knocks two birds off with one stone. So also a good staple. Final and fourth one I'm gonna recommend is this one by Sunbun. On my TikTok, people will be asking me to review this one and I'm sure they can't wait till I talk about it. I've been really liking this one. I haven't used it very much. Something I really enjoyed about it is obviously how pretty it is, but also it's uh, gluten-free, vegan-free. Everyone's been raving about this one. So let's just go ahead and demo it really quickly. Whoa, that was a lot of product I just pumped out. Just gonna 
put that in the back of my hands. Mmm, it smells so good, you guys. Oh, I love, love, love. It smells amazing. Mmm. I kind of want to put that all over my body now. It smells so amazing. I love it. You guys see how moisturized my skin looks after using that? Ugh. So good. This is definitely highly recommended. I love, love it. But yeah, that's it for all of my recommendations. My favorite chemical sunscreens. I got a lot of requests to film this after I made my physical sunscreen video. So make sure to check that out. But yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Do not forget to give this video a like. It really helps out Mrs. Algorithm. Is it Mr. or Mrs.? I don't know. She's a Mrs. at this point because she uh, she's a boss, okay? Like this video so Mrs. Algorithm will like it and boost this video to other people that look like us and just anyone that's in the market for new chemical sunscreen. Oh, something really cool I want to mention in this video is I actually do like one-on-one -on -one, like skincare consultations. Look in the description box and um, book me on Style Seat for skincare consultations. Something I've been doing lately is I'm helping people that are having some type of skincare issue. I help them rearrange the products they currently are using to help better meet their needs or recommend products that they should be using to help meet their skincare goals. So definitely check out the description box for that information. Yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Every time I'm tired and exhausted and don't want to upload a video, it's because of you guys that I keep going. So thank you. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.